guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry it has been like forever since I've uploaded a video. Um, things were kind of crazy. My youngest son was here for six weeks and he went back home um, on Tuesday and you know, I just had a lot of things to do, I guess. Um, <laughs> so, but I'm back. Yay. Um, and I, what I'm doing today is kind of a follow-up to a video I did quite a while ago um, when I made the Naturalist um, Cinch Journal. I kind of showed you how I use um, this machine and I had a question. When I, when I showed how I did it, I just used paper. And I didn't have um, a cover or, you know, I didn't have a front and back actual cover um, when I demonstrated it. And I had a question about, um, you know, what it would be like, you know, if you're using an actual cover. And the biggest thing um, that I wanted to show you is how to um, hide the seam of your um, wire um, within the, the book so that it's not, you know, on the outside, if that makes sense. It's in the instructions, um, but you know, we all know that sometimes instructions are not um, terribly easy to understand, and it's better to see it, you know, see it actually demonstrated. So that's what I'm going to do today. I, I know after all my grumbling about not knowing whether I was going to make any Christmas journals um, this year, I, I got the Christmas bug. Um, and I decided to make, uh, four, um, cinch journals and they're going to be very plain on the inside, but I'm going to include, um, a, a bag of, um, ephemera, either ephemera that I make, um, or just pieces from the kits that I've used, or, um, I have some ephemera from my good friend, Dee Dee. Hi, Dee Dee. Um, that I'll include, you know, just just bits and pieces and some vintage stuff um, and things like that. So anyway, that's coming up, but I'm ready to go ahead and bind one of them. So I thought I would go ahead and, and uh, film it. So I'm using this vintage book, um, The Night Before Christmas, for this one. And I have all my pages. Um, I have everything punched and ready to put together. So when you do this, if you wanna hide the seam, um, they, they suggest, well, they, they tell you to um, go ahead and, um, I'm reading the, the, yeah, first thread all the inside pages and then the front and back cover. So we're gonna put our wire, I've already cut it. Um, I needed six wires, cause there are six holes. So let me put this on here and make sure that you can um, see what I'm doing. I think, let me, oops, well, it's gonna be sort of off my desk, but that's okay. All right, so here's my wire and I've placed it on the little, the little hangy thingies on the side of my machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed um, my pages and I'm gonna start, so this is the first page Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with the back. So I'm going to do them one at a time um, because it's easier for me. Uh, they don't get all, you know, bunched up and everything. We've got some, um, this is uh, t uh, dyed paper from my friend Lori. Hi, Lori. This is some Stampin' Up! Vellum. I've got this kit pr for this book um, is from Antique Papery. It is, I think it's called Victor Christmas in Victoria. And then this is um, from Lorna at TaylorMade Journals. She has an awesome vintage um, wrapping paper digital. I love it. And then these are actually the book pages. Go ahead and do these two at a time. What I did is I folded the pages over and then sewed them together around the edges. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some more Lori dyed paper. 
All right, this is more of the um, wrapping paper. And I will try really hard to remember to put the links to these kits in the description box below. If I forget, please just, um, just send me a message or, you know, write a comment. This is some vintage graph paper. Um, this is scrapbook paper. Four book pages. So like I said, I'm going to leave the insides um, mostly blank. I will probably, um, you know, add some envelopes or glassine bags or something, but um, that'll be it. And then whoever, uh, what's happening here? Oh, no, it's fine. Um, whoever purchases these can decorate them themselves. I thought that would be fun. Some more pretty vellum. So yeah, basically this is very boring. Uh, we're just feeding the pages on uh, antique papery, tailor-made journals, some more of the book pages. This is my favorite of the vintage wrapping paper. Look at that adorable little girl in a Christmas tree dress. I love her so much. <laughs> Some more Stampin' Up vellum. All right, now we are to the front. And then I added a ruffle on this piece of scrapbook paper. All right, now, once you have all of your pages um, fed on here, you are to um, then do the front cover, right? And then the back cover, but the back cover you need to put on. So here is the actual back of the cover and here's the inside of the back cover. So you put them facing each other like this, okay? Then, we will take this off here and flip this around. And I'm pretty sure that this is already set at the inch. Um, because I'm pretty sure that this is, this wire is an inch. And then you want to um, just push your wire up against the back and push down and I know you can't really um, see what's happening here but I will show you so now it's all cinched together right and let me move this out of the way so because we put the back cover on top of the front cover we can now flip that over right and put it on the back and you'll see that the seam is now hidden here, right? So you won't see that on the outside. So there we go, super easy. But I thought, you know, I, I had a question about it last time and you know, I was, I was doing it anyway. So I thought I'd just come on and demonstrate that. Maybe it would be a, a little easier. I know I learn from watching. Um, I don't learn so great from reading a lot of the time. So yeah, I hope that was helpful guys. Just a quick short video. Um, I will be back next week. I promise I will have more content next week. I have some, some fun things I want to work on. Um, after I get the, or maybe some of the stuff that I'm working on for these journals. Um, but yeah. All right. So I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Um, I am freezing, but the sun is finally out today. It was just pouring rain for days. Um, the sun is finally out, but it is super, super chilly. <laughs> Um, I'm not complaining. I like the cold better than the hot. Um, but yeah, so I hope you have a fabulous weekend wherever you are. Um, and it's Halloween tomorrow. Um, I don't really do anything for Halloween anymore now that my kids are grown and 
um, out of the house. Um, we will probably just try and uh, and keep Oscar from losing his mind um, with all the the kids that might be you know up and down the street. We don't we don't pass out candy because um, you know he would go nuts if we had a bunch of people you know strangers knocking on the door. <laughs> so um, we you know we'll just we'll just hang and watch TV or something and try to keep him calm. Anyway, enough about that. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day and a great weekend. See you next time, guys. Bye.